Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what's in my camera bag and that I'm going to be posting this kind of video once a year um, just because things in the camera bag don't really change all that often but there will be plenty of changes done by the end of the year so next year things will be a little bit more updated. Um, now we should start off with this first piece of great camera equipment it is the 16 to 35 uh, Canon L series lens the image stabilization and ultrasonic motors and its aperture actually goes down to 2.6 it's a pretty handy lens if you're trying to get into like uh, real estate videography or you want to shoot a couple of landscapes definitely would suggest picking this baby up it has been a blessing on trips now another item I always, always have on me are the wipes. The wipes. <laughs> Let me tell you, these things have saved some images. These things have saved pictures countless and countless times. That is about it for the, for this. Now another piece of cleaning equipment um, is one of these like rocket blower things. Um, I have like you pick up one of these with some of these on a kit for probably like I don't know 15 20 bucks and you can get like you can get like a pack of 20 of these I think I don't know um, but everybody needs these two these are essential in their camera bag and I'm also rocking right now the 60 mark 2 with the 50 millimeter 1.8 just wait until I get that 1.2 trust <laughs> it is gonna be the next lens that I plan on getting is the Canon 85 millimeter um, I'm not sure what I should get aperture wise I'll probably end up getting the 1.8 as well um, just because it's the more affordable lens and I don't need the L series for every lens that I get and one last thing that I always always make sure I keep in my camera bag is this Rode video mic that I picked up for I think like a hundred and twenty or a hundred and fifty bucks um, I am thinking about already upgrading to the Rode VideoMic Pro. I also always carry this thing for sound effects mainly because when you're on the go, you want to click, you want to uh, make up your own sound effects on the go to incorporate into other videos. Then this or any microphone is a surefire way of getting those sound effects and making your videos even that more crispy. But anyways, I appreciate you guys all for your time. Uh, you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.